Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, welcome back to EU4 in our gothic invasion run with Fiodoro. When we last left off, we had, yeah, we were basically just working on coring some stuff. So, yeah, I mean, we, we've effectively won the war, now all we really need to do is just kind of sit here for a couple of years until it is time to uh, declare war on someone else. And that someone else is going to be Milan, I think. I mean, unless I can actually uh, get a war going against Poland here. I mean, hmm. Yeah, this massive debt, that's problematic. I mean, on the one hand, no, no, we've, we've already established that without allies, yeah, fighting Poland is... Probably not in our best interest. Of course, if I could break their alliance with Poland. There is that. Of course, also, if we declare war on Lithuania and Russia doesn't join, then we would be able... Yeah, we'd be able to fight Pomerania, or, yeah, Pomerania, and they're in the coalition, so we'd get them out of the coalition. So that's a bonus. Uh, what about Bohemia? 55. Radio. There's not anyone here who I can declare war on who isn't in the coalition. I I think. Yeah, you're in the coalition, you're in the coalition, you're gonna be in the coalition. Coalition, coalition, also coalition. I mean, there's there's not a lot I can do. Most unfortunately, but life goes on. We'll We'll figure things out. Ah oh, yeah, and we're also working on increasing our mass. All right, so if we're not, if we're not gonna fight. Ah, what the heck? We've got the points for it. Hmm. I mean, I could just work on increasing my professionalism, I suppose, at this point. Get a few more tasty treats, as it were. All right, let, let's uh, send everyone back, because why the heck not, right? Why the heck not? This is gonna work out perfectly fine, probably, maybe. And again, just a quick check here. Nine years, 145 years, two years. All right, yeah, pretty much, pretty much fine. How's Pope Man? Pope Man is mostly okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's good. So he's, he's probably not joining the coalition anytime soon. Oh, I can actually royal marry you. Not that I want to. I mean, sadly, there's really no one I can... No one I can really work with here to deal with all this coalition-y nonsense stuff. There's no enemies. Yeah, there's no enemies left. We can save a few ducats by turning off all of our forts. Uh, that means you. Oh, no, that... Wrong thing. Mothball all forts. That's the button I'm looking for. Yeah, we'll just mothball them and we'll sit here drilling and getting professionalism until we core everything. And again, the reason for this is mostly just so that we don't get even more opinion malices with people. Or, uh... I think it only affects people in the HRE and basically the entire HRE is already in a coalition anyway, but no point in making things worse for ourselves. Plus, I think it also... I think it has some other effects. It might also, like the whole like demand unlawful territory. I think it might have an effect on like. It causes more unrest. That's a, that's a thing it does. Uh, where's Dagestan, and why do I care about it? These are the important questions. Ah, Dagestan, not a bad place to live. Belongs to the clergy, so more taxes. There we go. Jolly good then. How much money are we making? We are making all of the money, which is, quite frankly, a good thing. Could upgrade this guy. Then again, he's 62 years old. Holy cow. 62 years old. Who are you at war with? <clears throat> eh, what the heck. I'll accept. Oh, yeah. Work on this. How close are we to the next benefit? A little ways. Which is better than no ways, honestly. All right, so yeah, we should save up and build a fort thingamajig here. 
Well, I really hope we spawn what, what is it? The, the thing, the thing being, uh, what am I trying to say? That thing that does stuff specifically, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. oh, manufacturing is the next institution. That's what we want to spawn. God, my head is, it's all over the place today. All right. Incidentally, how much professionalism are we gaining per year? 0.9. Not terrible. I mean, we could just... Actually, if we really wanted to just drive it up really fast, we could just use uh, Recruit General, just spawn a whole bunch of guys. Yeah, but that doesn't feel like the best use of our... of our uh, stuff, does it? Like our military power. I mean, we could do it, but should we do it? We'll wait until our military guys start dying off again. 72 of 79. But I want to build some horses. I mean, something like 14, 4, 8, or 14, 4, 10. Because that way we've got cavalry for the flanks, infantry for the front, and cannons blowing the living daylights out of... Actually, what is our uh, present? This is how we figure out how many cannons to have. What is our current... Uh, Attack range. There it is. Combat width. It is plus 19. Means we could have, what is that, 19, 19 guys fighting at once. Is that right? Am I understanding that correctly? Which actually means, in that case, we want even more. You know what, I don't, <laughs> I've never really bothered paying attention to uh, stuff like that before, which feels kind of dumb now, but, you know. That's where we're at, in my level of ignorance, so, yeah. But if it's 19, then, yeah, that basically means between infantry and cavalry, we want, like, 19 in the front row, and then 19 cannons in the back row. Oh, wait, a truce with Gel- where's Gelray? Damn. They're right here. And they're gonna- I can't declare war on them, because I don't touch them in any way. Crap, I should have taken this land, then we could have declared war on Gelray. They don't have any allies, though. Wowzers. Okay, so they're immediately going to jump right back into the coalition. Aw, come on. Where'd they spawn? Why can I never have the luck of, like, actually getting these things to spawn in my territory? West Barar. Oh, come on! All the way in India? Ah, just my luck, huh? Alright, how long is this going to take to spawn? Two years. And we are, like, 11 years ahead of time, so I guess we'll be okay. Probably want to save up our money for this one. But then again... Fortresses. No, no. It's fine. Totally, totally fine. Probably. Probably totally fine. Alright. So yeah, basically we're just waiting to go to war with you. Or then again, oh, who do we want? To, who do we really want to go to war with? Milan or Bohemia? Because I mean, Bohemia is going to join the coalition, aren't they? Yeah. And oh, it's only like a one-year difference between the two. I mean, do I just declare war on both of them? Like with Milan. With Milan, I really only want like a, a quick, clean war. That would be, well, quick and clean. Where is September? Yeah, so I'd have one year to end this war with Milan. Which I don't think would work. I mean, if I could eat Ragusa, that would benefit me in many a way. You still don't have an heir. I mean, it's not gonna do anything, because the Ottomans are basically guaranteed to always have an heir. But nonetheless... And there goes the coalition. Truce with Silesia. Silesia. Hmm. Oh yeah, and how are we doing with favors? Okay, 51. Alright, so we'll be able to declare or bring Austria in on one of our wars. So might as well bring him in with the one against Bohemia. The obvious uh, solution there, blah blah blah. Ottomans declared war on some dude that I don't care about. Life goes on. Fun times to be had by all, really. 
Okay, there. That's... Is that everything? That is everything. Excellent. Boop and boop. So we can... We can safely peace out now. And then just kind of... Sit here. Actually... No, we'll wait until our, uh... Our whole war thing goes away. Actually, is there any Burgundian... There's Burgundian land right here. Is Haynut in... Haynut is, in fact, in the co... Damn. If they weren't in the coalition... I could, like, declare on them. I mean, they're not even... They're not even the right... Uh, thing. Culture, so... that eh, doesn't matter. Actually, when, uh... When does the coalition with you end? Or truce with you? 62, and you're also allied with Castile. Not terrible. Hmm. There's so many things I want to do, but at the same time, is there really time for them? The answer is not really. I mean, I could just stay at war until... Is there anything weird that's going to happen if we do stay at war? Like, will they... No, they're not really... Nothing's really going to happen as a result of just sitting here, so... Alright. Alright, we do have these guys. But, we're going to pay them down, get our absolutism up, because again, that's always useful. And we're not really doing anything until... Until this all ends. Oh, and a guy died. Oh boy, there goes our admin. We don't have an heir yet, do we? We do not. Ah, but he's only 18 years old. There'll be plenty of time to get an heir. And also, royal marry some people. So let's do that. Yes. To be honest with you... Wait. Wait, you broke the alliance? Oh. Oh. Or was I ever allied with you? I was never allied with you, was I? Hmm. Will you join the coalition? You might. Huh, I thought I was allied with France. Apparently I was not at any point, and they just haven't joined the coalition because they're good people, I guess. And now they won't royal marry me. Oh, because the French ruler is infertile. That's a good reason. And also because they're outraged towards me. Damn it. Should have royal married them first. Alright, so France is going to join the coalition. That's, generally speaking, not good. Hmm. I mean... Okay, and there, there they go. They're in the coalition. Wonderful. Now, how much money am I making? That's still pretty good money. So, overall, I'd call this whole thing a smashing success. Alright, that's not terrible, so I can work with that. Alright. Good times all around. Okay, there's the call for peace. Guess there's not much point in, uh, sucking up to France anymore. They are... Oh, they just joined the coalition a little bit too late for me to, like, get them out of it. Shucks. Oh well. I wonder if they'd consider leaving, because they are, as I recall, they're massively in debt. I don't, I don't really want anything out of Burgundy. I just want their money, and... Yeah, I want to, I want to make sure that they're... This truce lasts as long as possible, so they can't join the coalition. All right, so we have until 65. All right, that's some... That's some good stuff right there. All right, what is this looking like? 2.5 years, only Mains is still angry about life, so they'll get over it. Damn, we're awesome. Oh, and you guys have peaced out. I'm, I'm kind of scared to see what's going to happen over there. All right, so we have until 54. That is acceptable. This is where things are going to be really scary for me, in my opinion, because we've got to go to war with them, and then we've got to go to war with Bohemia before they can join the coalition. Of course, Milan probably has a bunch of money, so that we'll be able to get some cash out of them. That's... That is at least a... No, I don't want that. Outrage countries. We're never going to break anyone out of the coalition, but we can dream. Actually... 
Oh no, no, that's not gonna happen. Truce with Provence. Provence is now gonna join the coalition, probably. Are they? Would they join the coalition? Nope, they're not. Okay, good. Little mercies, man, little mercies. Let's see, what's this? Guaranteed by France. Wait a minute. Oh wait, that's Trier. Never mind, I thought I was clicking on some other little person. Guaranteed by Trier, all right. There's a lot of good things we could potentially end up getting, but at the same time... At the same time, we are still terribly far away from things. Let's see, intolerance, non-accepted culture, active missionary, separatism. All right, so that's not really gonna get us anything anytime soon. All right, all right, I guess we're just sitting here for now. This is uh, knowledge sharing, huh? Can I knowledge share with anyone? Probably not, because we don't actually have anything yet. All right, Triarian rebels. Yeah, what the heck, I'll... I'll keep doing that. I want the absolutism. Absolutism is awesome, man. Oh, hell. Come on! Come on! You didn't need to do that, Ottomans. Stupid Ahmed being a dick. All right, so now... You know, I had... I had dreams, man. I had dreams of... Of, like, actually having... A working relationship with the Ottomans, but now that's just not gonna happen, is it? That kind of sucks. Ugh. But what can I do? The answer is not- oh, please don't call me into that war. Yo, GB, I don't wanna- I don't wanna help you in any war-related shenanigans. Also, yeah, you focus- uh, you just stay near me. Honestly. Actually, I really should just focus on getting you annexed as soon as possible, but there'll be time for that, eventually. Oh, hell. God damn it, why'd the Ottomans have to rival me? I mean, I guess it makes sense. They needed a rival, but damn. If they hadn't rivaled me, we could have... We could have actually had something going here. Now, is there a way I can cheese the game so that I'm not quite big enough for the Ottoman survival? The answer is no. And I also know that, uh... The Ottomans are going to declare war on me probably... The, uh, the next chance they get. Oh, why did I build this fort here? I could've just... I could've just given them all this garbage land. Well, it's not garbage land, but, you know. Screwed, basically. What I feel. And if I want to get rid of that, I could just raise the autonomy. Ah, oh boy. Piedmont, Piedmont, where is that? Alright, let's, uh... Send some guys over. Make the nobles like me. In fact, I could use that to my advantage, get a little bit more, uh, manpower, possibly. Right? And boop! I mean, they're only peasants, right? So, it's fine. Oh, God help us all. Actually, I should really start getting in position for this invasion of... ...of, uh, Milan. I'm honestly scared, because you just know Russia's not going to be willing to defend me anymore, which sucks. But, uh, well, we do know, we do know Ming exists now, so maybe if we suck up to them, they'll like us, and we're probably not going to get a, to ally them. Though that would be cool. Could I, could I become a tributary of the Ottomans? That would be nice. Also, I guess now that you're at war with, uh, France here, Oh, actually, the, the real benefit of this that has only just occurred to me is the fact that Britain's forces are on continental Europe, which means that if I did declare a war and brought in the coalition and, like, Great Britain actually was willing to join us, then, yes, yes, they'd actually help. They'd actually be useful, and someone just left the coalition. 
That may have been the biggest mistake of your life. Oh, except you're actually in the middle of a fight right now. Sure, why not? I'll join. All right. Brabant is German, isn't it? It is. Can I, uh, mark it as vital interest? Who else is in this war? Just you. All right. Yeah, that's, that's, nothing's probably going to come of that, but you never know. I mean, it's at least going to get France out of the coalition, so that's a plus. And, wait, if you're still allied with Brabant and we're, oh, I guess we, oh, right, right, France, not uh, you. Okay, yeah, every, everything's looking good. Probably, mostly, maybe. When can I embrace manufacturers? Not for a while yet. Let's have a look at uh, the spread of our institutions so far. All right, I mean, it's getting there. 54. I mean, we're in no rush to actually... But what time is the next tech? Nine years, so... Yeah, that, you know, we're good. We don't need to worry too, too much about that. Like I said. All right, good times. Do I build more cannons, though? My gut says maybe. Also, my gut says here comes a giant French stack, so I should probably send my army down here to do something about that. And I'll send one guy over here to deal with Brabant. Alright. Oh, and I can't really... You know what? I'm gonna try to suck up to the Ottomans anyway. I mean, it's not gonna happen, but... Man can dream. Alright. I'm probably not gonna do anything to help with this war. I'm just gonna sit here. I mean, we're winning pretty quickly, so... We probably don't have to worry too terribly much. Oh, there's also Lundberg over there. Maybe we... Oh, heck. Where'd you guys come from all of a sudden? I mean, it... No, no, the faster I help them, the faster we can get back into, like, Great Britain helping me. And plus, if I get some war participation, then, like, Great Britain will actually owe me favors and life will be good. An offer of knowledge? No, I'm not paying you seven ducats a month. I mean, thanks for the offer, but, uh, you know, no thanks. Dick. Trying to extort money out of me. How dare you? Come on. Alright, send everyone to Bamberg. Let's, uh, get those sweet war participation score point things. Certainly. Anyone, uh, ah, Salzburg. Please die without an heir. It's not going to happen, but again, men can dream. And indeed, that is probably what men do best, is it not? Dream of better things. All right, there we go. Actually, no, they're, yeah, they're both equally good. I'll send you over here. And yep, we're, we're looking good, though we are losing money now. That was, uh, that's a lot of war reparations, by the way. Where are we getting them all from? Trier? Mil ah, Milan. That's where we're gonna want to really suck up some juicy warlike stuff. Okay, and there's uh, the French doing French-related things over there. Alright. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna do that and this. Just to, just to speed things up a little bit. Blah, 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 blah. You know what? If I can get someone to him... Actually... Is it at all possible to get knowledge sharing with the Ming? Ah, we're outside of colonial range. That's unfortunate. If only I could get one province. It also occurs to me if I could give Russia money so that, you know, we could do stuff with them, that would be good as well. There's so much that I want to do, but I'm also, like, it's becoming very obvious to me that we're not going to see terribly much of. Ah, 30%. That means we should get some favors. Which is good enough as far as I'm concerned. What is this about our fortress getting siege down? Oh, come on. I'm not going over there. I won't do it because I don't want to get stuck. Let's see. Five of this or how bad is our inflation? It's actually pretty good. So, yeah. More patriarch authority. Good times. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. All right. I mean, Great Britain's going to get all the sweet and sexy war reps out of this, but... Actually, you know what? 
No, no, I want to mark that as a vital interest. Maybe they'll even give it to me. Dangerous. Uh, no. No, they will not. Oh, sweet. Cool. I mean, a man is entitled to dream. Oh, look at this. The French are doing stuff. It also occurs to me... Yeah, they didn't even have enough men to siege that fort down anyway. Because they suck. At life. And other things, probably. Alright. But Ming. What can we do with Ming over here? Russia, army strength, distance between... Damn distance between borders. Oh well, I'm not gonna... I have no plans of going over there in any way, shape, or form, so... It will never be of value to us, basically, to go over there. I kind of wonder if I should get rid of one or both of these forts. We'll see. Just waiting. The Ottomans are they're totally going to declare war on me, aren't they? That would suck. Alright. The AI doesn't like to peace out until it has a 100% war score, so... If we can get this, that should finish... Uh, Finish that up. All right. Actually, can I fit? Yeah, we won't have room if we fit there. Unfortunate, but that's what life looks like sometimes. Oakley, Oakley, blah blah blah. Bit of money. I get some of that money. Oh, cool. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wait until we're gonna wait until we're like you know in a point where we actually need to tech up before we worry about these sorts of things. Okay, there's a Habsburg on the throne of Poland. I really hope that... Oh god, please, please, for the love of god, don't get into a personal union with Austria. That'll completely ruin this game. For me. And as we all know, nothing matters but me, so... Yeah. Alright. Okay, here we are. We're almost at the point where it's time to go to war with Milan again. Okay, we've got some favors with you. Uh, you know, as much as I hate to say it, I'm gonna have to go to war with the Ottomans. I was hoping I could do some cheeky stuff and just form an alliance with them, but no, I'm gonna have to... I'm going to have to go to war with them. And that sucks. But then again, life is full of suckage or something. I don't know. All I know for sure is that at some point, everything is going to perfectly work out for us. Also, do I really care at this point about about actually upgrading or like finishing this? I feel like the answer is no. I don't really care that much because I don't I don't use mercenaries. It's just a personal thing. It's also probably why I've never got a world conquest on my hands, but that's another story. Anyway, it's also time to wrap this episode up. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking and I will see all you in the next video.